YouTube, it's Tara, the 805 Stitcher, um, back here again. Uh, how was everybody's weekend? Um, to those of you who are new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch. Um, I may throw in some knitting or crocheting or diamond painting or a book review, kind of whatever I want to throw in. And um, for those who are, who are returning, thank you so much and for returning and subscribing um and mentioning talking about subscribers uh i have over 100 subscribers and i had said last time though a lot of you might not have seen it because i said it at the end after my etsy shop that if i got over 100 subscribers i would give a giveaway on this video so i'm super excited to be giving something away because i love the giveaways on floss tube videos um so anyway, today is Saturday, December 7th, um, it's in the afternoon, uh, I wanted to do, Danny is um, visiting his mother up in Morro Bay, California, for the day, and so I wanted to get this to him before he gets home. So, anywho, um, so, let's see, let's start life, some life stuff that's going on. Again, I have my notes here. Um, and I can't read with my glasses on, so I do this a lot. Um, okay, what do we have going on? Um, so I think the last time I said in one of the videos that I didn't understand the needle thingy. You know, people are always going, oh, I use a 26, this or that, or I use 28, this or that. And I was kind of like, you know, whichever needle I could find is what I'm going to use because... Um, I didn't know, just hunt down a needle. If it fits the hole, good. But when I had an order from, um, the cottage needle, she had put in a little complimentary needle. So I used that when I started a new start this past week, which I had a little starditis, but, um, I forget what it was. It was a needle that she likes or one of her favorites. Um, Okay. I get the needle thingy. It's like butter. It was so smooth. Uh, I'm like, where have you been all my life? This, I, and now I, I am spoiled. So um, I've got more needles coming. So I understand you people now, which I didn't for a long time. So um, Christmas, has, I started Christmas shopping. I did. Okay, I have a problem. I do not know where to look on this thing. So I was looking at my videos and I'm looking up here and I'm looking over there. So hopefully I'll get it. But for right now, uh, I don't know. But Christmas, um, yeah, I started Christmas shopping. Uh, Amazon, thank you. Um, most of it's arrived. Amazon, thank you. And um, I didn't do any Black Friday sales. Well, no, I did. I did one for myself. I. I did some diamond painting, which I'm going to show you. I've got a problem. Anyway, um, so, but I did buy for my granddaughter. I bought for a few other people. Um, but a funny story is, you know, my, my daughter is expecting another baby in April. And uh, my granddaughter and my grandson will be sharing a room for a while. And so she's kind of trying to minimize the toys and stuff. And so she says to me, she's like, um... No big toys. I'm like, what? You know, I'm grandma. You know, go big or go home. Um, she went, no, no big toys. I said, what about a Barbie dream house? Is that big? She's like, yes, mother, that's big. I said, okay. Um, but they, no big toys. What fun is that? I, I guess she's got all her toys in the linen closet. Kind of made that into a toy closet, and I guess they won't fit but the baby's not going to be crawling around for quite a while. So she could have something on the floor. My daughter is very minimalist, does not like a lot of decorations and that kind of thing. So, but anyway, I'm like, no big toys. You gotta be kidding. I'm grandma, grandma, grandma does big. So we'll see. I haven't, don't think I've bought anything big yet, but don't know. Um, what else we got going on? Um, I was watching some YouTube videos. Uh, oh, 
one of the girls in my stitchy group, uh, I think her name's Elizabeth. Um, she was back this past Saturday and I remembered she has a floss tube as well. So she is solar stitcher, stitches, solar stitches, solar stitcher, solar, S-O-L-E-R, solar stitches or stitcher. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Um, so anyway, check her out. Uh, she's pretty fun. She's a, um, military wife. So has two kids, hubby. So, um, still, uh, watching the Spunky Girl Stitchery Stitch. Spunky Girl. So she's doing the um, Flog Moss or Floss Mass or what is the difference? What is that stuff? I don't even know. I've never heard of that stuff before. Floss Mass? Flog Mass? I think she's doing Floss Mass, but she was going to do like 24 new starts or something like that. I don't know. Uh, all, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, so check her out. I was watching, um, Rolodex Stitches and she's over in Japan and I think she's so funny. Um, and she was talking about her, how her husband want, wanted to buy a weaving loom. And so that, um, so that when she's sitting and doing her stitching that he can be doing some weaving and. And she said, what did she say? Uh, oh, he's a sweet little shit. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. But how sweet is that? You know, I can't imagine Danny wanting to do weaving just because I do stitching. You know, no, that's not not going to happen. Um, what else is going on? Oh, speaking of Christmas again, uh, I have a little bit of decorating. This is about it right now, other than the tree, which... Um, Danny did. Remember, I was talking about how uh, he he needed to put the lights up and put the tree up. And I said, oh, he's not going to do it because he only has one day off. He did it. What a guy. Um, but, you know, now in his mind, he's done. Christmas is done for him. And I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be nice to wake up and Christmas is ready? That'd be like being a kid again. You know, I'm sure a lot of husbands or boyfriends or significant others... Um, help out. But in my experience, uh, in my, um, marriage and relationships, uh, my spouse or significant other was very anti-Christmas and they woke up and I was just done. So I think that would be great. It'd be like being a kid again, but that doesn't happen. Um, I'm trying to decide on, um, our Christmas dinner menu. Uh, for the longest time, I'm, I, I think we were having this um, when I was in grade school. My mother had a recipe for beef stroganoff with filet mignon, and I mean, it's delicious. It is, it's like, you know, the meat just melts in your mouth and it's got a nice sherry in it. And yeah. it's, you know, we don't do it over rice with peas, salad, crescent rolls. That was probably 35 years of the same dish. So when my mother passed away, um, December 23rd, 2017, um, we didn't do anything for Christmas. I mean, we, I had people over Christmas Eve day, I believe. I don't remember, but, um, uh, the following year I wanted to do something different. We kind of wanted to maybe, you know, carry on a new tradition or see what we wanted to do because, um, not that we're ever going to not going to have the filet be stroking off again, but, um, just, just, you know, it brought a lot of too many memories of mom, I think. So, um, last year I did kind of a Swedish dish. I did some Swedish meatballs and, you know, red cabbage and mashed potatoes, I think. And it was really good. Um, we make sausage, Swedish potato sausage at, um, before Christmas, so we had that too. Um, and so it was kind of a kind of a smorgasbord. And um, that was good. But I think this year I want to try making a prime rib. I've never made a prime rib. Um, if any of you have and you have helpful hints, um, drop them in the comments because I'm not a bad cook, but I wouldn't want to screw up a prime rib. You know, it's so good. So maybe I'll do that. 
I don't know. I'm also thinking Honey Baked Ham. That would be easy. Just go to the Honey Baked store. Bam. Pretty much done. So we always do Christmas Eve. Um, we open all our presents Christmas Eve. And so Christmas Day, you know, when we were kids, it was Santa would come and that kind of stuff. But um, now it's just the two of us. And sometimes we have uh, Danny's family over on Christmas morning, but uh, for like a brunch. But I don't think that's going to be happening this year. I don't, I don't know. I can't say for sure it's not happening. But anyway, what are you having for Christmas dinner? Any traditions? Anything that uh, you always have for years and years and years. Um, yeah, I'm still debating, still debating Christmas. So, um, what else do we have? Oh, speaking of Christmas again, speaking of Christmas, um, uh, Trish Turner threads entwined on Instagram is doing a 24 days of giving. How freaking sweet is that? I mean, she is offering up of uh, someone to win something, a pattern, for 24 days. And I have something else sweet to say about Trish Turner, but uh, it's in my haul, or my new acquires, or my new things. So um, I'll talk about that later, but I thought that was just the sweetest thing. Um, on Instagram, I did uh, have a little giveaway too for two of my bags, and I drew the winners earlier on the with the numbers generator and I did film it um but I also announced it on Instagram so they know and I might put it in if I could figure it out how to insert video here I will do that just so they can see it that I did do the number generator I'm sure they trust me but um yeah so I did that and there were two winners and I hope they like them I hope they're excited I love giving stuff away who knew um, and speaking of giveaways, oh, I already said that, didn't I? That I'd be doing a giveaway later on. So, uh, stay tuned. It's a good one. I think it's a good one. I think so. Um, let's see. That's just kind of in my plans. Uh, let's see, let's see. see. Okay, let's do, um, tent stitching. What the heck is tent stitching? I've heard it like three or four times now, and I'm like, tent stitching? I have to figure that one out, because I'm clueless. I don't know. I have no tent stitching. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go on, and um, I have a funny thing to talk about with my book, The Hunger. I'm on, I've got about 100 pages left. Um, you know, it's, one moment I'm like, oh, this is really good. Another moment I'm like, well, that's kind of silly. But again, it's about the Donner Party and it's, all of the people are the actual historical people. And, um, um, it's about, I don't know if it's zombies, if there were zombies or werewolves or something like that. If they, if that was the cause and not them eating themselves or along that line. Okay. Um, but it was so funny because one night I, I would read my book. I read it a little bit every night. And um, I was watching, um, who was I watching? Stitching with the St Sister Lees, Sister Lees, after, you know, after I was done reading. And I think it was them. I'm pretty sure it was them. And um, they mentioned how they are related to the Graves family from the Donner Party. And I was like, my, my jaw just dropped. I was like, what? And, and then she started telling me about Mary Graves, who Mary Graves is one of the key characters in the book and how, I guess she, she became a school teacher, I believe. But so she obviously made it out. But I was like, what a quinky dink. I mean, I was just reading about it and I don't watch stitching with the sisterlies often. So, um, yeah. I thought that was really weird, really weird, but we're almost done. Well, I mean, it's not bad. All right. Um, let's do mom's corner. So funny story with mom's corner. I, um, 
I know I'm looking in the wrong place. I can see I'm looking in the wrong place. Let me open my glasses on that I can't see very well. Okay. Um, funny story with um, Mom's Corner is last time I showed the Christmas house, and that was um, the one with the green and red frame, the smaller one, not the toy gatherer, not the Santa looking one. So one of my friends from my stitchy group, um, Deb, she watched my, or she was watching Jan Hicks creates and Jan Hicks was going through some of her old stash and Jan Hicks put up the, um, the pattern for the Christmas house. I think, I forget what the name of it is. It's something might be the Christmas house and it was from a better homes and garden stitch magazine. I think I'm not sure, uh, 1994. So, um, my friend, uh, looked for the pattern and she found the magazine and on Amazon, I believe, and she got it. Isn't that, isn't that weird? So I guess my friend Deb's going to do it. Um, that was the Hardanger house, but Jan Hicks, uh, was saying how she needed to do that. She's, she wasn't going to get rid of that one because she was going through her stash. I guess they're moving and you know, this one that goes, that one stays. So I thought that was another quinky dink, you know, that. And then she said, uh, I, I did comment on Jan's video and, um, she said that Kathy Aberman, Aberman had also, um, had something in her stash or something that she had stitched up. So it's just, we're a small little community here, you know? Um, so, okay. This is, um, this is a Perman. I think I need new glasses because I'm really having a hard time seeing all the time. I, um. I think I'll make an appointment in January when I have new FSA funds. Okay, so this is a Perman. I know that, Perman of Copenhagen, because it's all in Danish. Um, and I don't know the name of it. I don't know the year of it. It looks very old, but um, it's mushrooms. Another bell pull. My mom was big on, my mom was big on bell pulls, so. Uh, show all of it. Isn't that something? That's another one I want to get done. Oh, wait, it's long. So, Perman, Copenhagen, I imagine. Um, I, I did take, remember the red and yellow tulipy thing um, with the, the bouquet of flowers? I did take that to my local needle workshop when I went on Saturday and I was asking her about um, what to clean it with because it is a bit age stained, you know, and she had re recommended Orvis, like it's a horse cleaner or something. Someone else re recommended OxyClean and some Woolite. Um, uh, it is all DMC thread because, you know, the um, over dyes weren't around back back in the day. So, um, if anyone has any recommendations, kind of drop me a comment because, um, these do need uh, some cleaning and, um, I don't want to ruin it. And with so much red in that, that one, um, uh, with the, the red and yellow flowers and the red vase, I, uh, yellow flowers and the red vase, I'm really worried that, um, it'll bleed. But then somebody also told me to put a color catcher in. Uh, so those are some ideas. Um, I just don't want to ruin it. You know, it's so beautiful. And I want to get it framed. That's that's what I'll be making bags for next year is to get my thing framed. Put the money in that fund. So that is, I don't know, the mushrooms from Perman. And I thought this was kind of cute. Um, and I think I might even maybe do it. It's a leisure's art. Uh, design. Um, I guess, I don't know, Christmas traditions and it's nativity figures. There we go. Nativity figures. Isn't that cute? They're all um, stuffed stand up things. I think this is great. I, I don't currently have a good nativity set. I, um, I have the one that was when my, my mother gave to me when I was, I remember playing with it when I was a child. So it's probably 50 plus years old and it's like missing two of the wise men. And I don't think there's a Joseph. I don't know what happened to Joseph, but Mary's all by herself. Um, 
so yeah, this is, um, this would be fun to have for, you know, the little grandkids. Look at my hand. I don't know what I did to it. I think I pounded it on something. I'm getting old, so it doesn't hurt, but it doesn't look very good. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I think this would be good for a habit with around the, with the little kids that they're not going to break it, you know, if they might mess it up or get something on it, but I mean, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, so it, she hasn't done a lot, but it's done on 14 count Ada. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty easy. I mean, um, so what has she done? What is this? Oh, this is one of the wise men and there's the gold in it. So there's one of the wise men. Pretty cool. And then she's got uh, one of the sheep. And then a camel. So of course there's, she didn't get much done. But I think it's cool. I think it's, I think it's fun. Do you think I could get it done by next Christmas? I don't know. I like the donkey. See the donkey? It's kind of cute. Okay. So, nativity figures. And that's Mom's Corner. Um, we've got many more, so don't worry that we're, we're going to run out of those. Okay. Uh, what are we doing next? Whips. Whips. I got the eggnog again. Hmm. Because it's going to expire. That's my reasoning today. Okay, here we go. Little Bond, Little Pond birth record. I'll try to say that fast a number of times. Um, Go. Um, oh, excuse me, that's my stomach. I don't know what I've gotten then. Um, I'm starting on the turtle down here. This is a turtle. I did more of the frog. I don't know if I had this guy. I, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Um, I think I might have gone out over here a little bit. Not a lot done. Uh, it's a lot of confetti up in here, and it's kind of kind of hard when I'm at work and doing it during lunch because that's the only time I have been doing it this past week was when I was at um, at work speaking for my music messages. <sighs> of course, I still haven't got my toes done, but it's so, it's getting there, you know, and this is just, <sighs> you know how I feel about it. You know how I feel. So anyway, Few stitches in that this week. Um, like I said, I had start itis, and I did kit up a couple of things when I was. Um, when I was at my LNS, um, I actually had the pattern, and I had I went through stash and got some um, some fabric that I thought would work. So I just had to do kind of a floss toss and pick out the, um, pick out some, some floss. But I wanted to start uh, Brenda Gervais, Spring Fling. We've all seen it, I think. But it's so cute. Um, I don't have a lot. I only did a couple stitches. But... I'm doing it on this oh, mauve fabric that I had in my stash. Uh, so that's what I got. Now what? But I think it would be cute. I have a problem because I'm a um, vertical stitcher. And um, with over dyed, you know, everything, when they're finished, it all goes this way. But I stitch this way. 
So my lines go up and down, which won't be a problem, I don't think, on like for the leaves and stuff like that. But it's going to be a hard for me to do the bunny. Um, I try to do horizontal and I just can't figure out like, in my mind, I would have to turn the whole material over to start the next row. But I know people don't do that. And I try to watch people. And um, so it's a learning curve for me. I'm, I'm just going to have to wing it. But I think the bunny should be in horizontal stripes, not the vertical, which most of my things are, as you can, I think you can see it a little bit here. Let's see how mine would kind of go vertical. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Okay. But that's Spring Fling, Brenda Gervais. Oh, the material's too big. Um, this was, um, in some stash that I inherited. And the only thing it said was 27 count uh, mauve. So 27 count. Is there such a thing? I guess it, it had the label on it. Unless somebody misinterpreted the label. So spring fling, where does your bay on 27 count mauve? And I'm using, no, I guess I'm using the cover dye. Okay, um, the next new start I did which this one has been kind of a struggle. I mean, geez, I've ripped out, I have frogged more stuff on this than, than, um, than I really should have needed to do. But it's Sweet Nothings Over the River. And I can't even remember when I bought this. I think I might have got it on Stash and Load. I don't know. I found it in my stash when I was pulling some stuff out for uh, Creative Lee when to, for her to go through. And um, it calls for anchor and I that's why I kitted it up because my uh, LNS does not carry DMC. She just carries anchor. So I knew I could find it there. I had to, I changed two colors. Actually, I, ch I well, I didn't change that color, I'm using it, but I didn't use it as it was intended. And this is the first time I've ever used Krynik. I'm not a fan. I understand all you people now. So, this is how far I've gotten. Okay. Now, I did, uh, the house in the middle called for oatmeal. And when I did the house in oatmeal, it kind of didn't, it didn't do anything for me. It, um, it kind of blended in with the fabric. This is 28 count mushroom lugana. Um, so I, um, I just thought, well, maybe pink will look good. So I put, I didn't have any pink. So I had some pinkish colors, you know, peachy and eh, it didn't do it. So I'm like, well, what about red? Bingo. I think it worked. I just used the red from, you know, like the door over here. That was the call, call for red, I believe. Was it? No, it wasn't. It was a different red. That was one of the changes because they didn't have the call for red. But, um, and Krynik, I ripped out. So I ripped this house out twice. I ripped out all of the Krynik, 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 uh, more than once because I didn't like how it was laying. But yep, it's cute. Over the river. There's woods to grandmother's house we go. Actually, I was listening to something on Sirius XM or something, and um, they were saying that in the original, it was originally a poem, and in the original poem, it was over the river and through the wood to grandfather's house we go. Hmm. So, uh, Sweet Nothings, Over the River, 28 Count, Mushroom Lugana, Anchored Thread, and Krynik, 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 whatever you say nasty thread. So, um, that's whips. That was it. I not work on anything else. I've been making bags like crazy. So, let's talk about some new stuff. Um, okay. Have you ever, let me see what I have here. My stash is not as large as I thought it would be. 
because I did not get one order um, uh, from Cottage Needle. I guess she had, it was, it was a holiday and stuff. They, she was running behind. So I'm still expecting that. And then I've got another, uh, I did get Threads Entwined. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think I really just need to give Threads Entwined a lot more business than I do. You know, she's California, um, would get here really quick. And she's just the sweetest, nicest person and so giving that unless she doesn't have it, you know. So I think what, uh, why I went with Cottage Needle and um, Mad for Minders, because they're on Etsy and I was on Etsy looking around. So anyway, oh, FedEx, the dogs are outside. Dear, oh, made it for me. So the first thing I have is, um, it's from Good Morning Maui and it's stretching portraits. It's the Disney Haunted Mansion. Um, one of uh, the girls in um, my stitching group was working on this and she has finished it. And she is Spunky Girl Stitch Stitchery. I think it's Stitchery. But it's um, stretching portraits. Good Morning Maui. I love this. Haunted Mansion. It is. It just screams memories for me. You know, going to Disneyland and being in that room and then all the other girls following, you know. You know, Ink Bay. I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, but you're not following. I think the walls are just going up. I don't know. But isn't that cute? Good morning, Maui. Stretching portraits. That was an, uh, this is an Etsy store. Um, okay. Have... You know when you're in, in Etsy and you're in your cart and you've, you've added stuff to your cart from more than one store and then there's that little line that says check out only from this store? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that. So I realized later, thank goodness, you know, I wanted it really, but. Um, so these are extras that I hadn't planned on getting, but I'm not, I'm not sad. So, um, this one is Primitive Hair, Needle Woman, Busy as a Bee. I have a thing for bees. Bees, octopuses, squirrels lately. But I don't know if it's like a little book, but look at those buttons on the bottom. Can you see those? I think that is so cute. I like it finished that way. Like with some, oh, those look like some antique buttons. I have a bunch of antique buttons. I don't know if it's how she finished it. I should, I should um, email her or message her on Etsy and ask her how that's finished. It's really cute. Maybe, maybe it's a needle book. Is it? Maybe it is a needle book. It doesn't really say. I don't think. Let me let me look at it a little more. I'm gonna just might be silly. No, it doesn't really say, but I think, I think it is a needle book. I mean, it makes sense. Needle woman, busy as a bee, primitive hair, Etsy. And this was also another one that came through, um, just because it was in my cart. And this is, uh, from the little stitcher on Etsy, Christmas in Sweden. So I really like, um, uh, you know, St. Lucia. I don't like her eyes, but St. Lucia. Um, and I like the dollar horse. That's a cute little ornament. And the candle thing. I, I think I have one of those. But Christmas in Sweden. The little stitch on Etsy. So cute. Those look like they would whip up really quick. This looks like a little dollar pig. Well, that's cute. That would whip, whip up really quick, right? Just like everything. Quick, quick. Okay, um, now something that's, it's not new to me. I, I bought it like a year ago. No, I bought it in January, I think. My daughter and I went to go see Teresa Caputo, the Long Island Medium, and um, at Chumash Casino. And uh, we went to a town called Solving, which Deb from my stitchy group lives there. 
let me show you want me to tell me that but it's a it's this little town that um is good for shopping and tourists it's very touristy i got my hair did can you tell um so um there's a store called the mole hole and i love flamingos too if you've ever gotten a bag for me you know um and i had bought this button i bought this uh flamingo um ornament it's just too cute so it's not new it's new to me because i just found it again in the bag so okay not stitchy related at all but if you're ever in solving it's a it's a scandinavian town you can go up there and have some good um uh danish pancakes and sausage so, um, like I said, I also got a order from um, Mad for Minders. Um, got a couple more needle minders. I don't have enough, right? And I stitch in hand. They're all on my um, my refrigerator. But I did this one because at one point I will do Yellow Submarine Blackbird Designs. I've got all of those in the Magical Mystery Tour series. So I need to move that for that one. And I just thought this was cute. It's Christmassy, um, kind of vintage looking, you know, 50s retro. retro. Is it retro or vintage? So there's that one, Joy. It's cute. Two more needle minders that I really don't need. And I realized that I've got a thing for, wait a minute. What did I do? There's one missing. Oh, here we go. This is what it is. I've got a thing for blue flower. Um, because my threads and twined order too. Every every well, patterns I actually didn't get on Etsy are all blue flower. So I've always loved this one. Um, uh, the blue flower night walk down. It just looks, I don't know. I love the flowers. And I don't even know if I'd do the black cat in it. I'm not a cat person, so. But those flowers are just, just amazing. So, Night Walk Down, blue flower. And the next one I got is also a blue flower. Um, I have Halloween Squirrel. I think I've ordered Autumn Squirrel. I'm pretty sure. I think it's in my other order from Mad for Minders. Or, I don't know. Or maybe it's in the Cottage Nail. But anyway, this one's Winter Squirrel. You've seen them. They're adorable. Blue Flower. I love their stuff. See, this is another one where I'd have to do Horizontal. Figure that out. Okay, so that was my order from uh, Mad for Minders, and then, like I said, I did get an order from Trish Turner at Threads Entwined, and this was a pre-order, and it's another blue flower. And um, yeah, what can we say? Sleeping Bee. Uh, I think uh, we all loved quilting. I think it was Quilting Bee that came out at. Um, Market, uh, Nashville, what is that? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, last year? But the sleeping bee, beautiful, just beautiful. So, oh, and something I was gonna say of how generous um, Trish is, is that she uh, included a Hand dyed dinky dyes silk mud flats. So, isn't that sweet? I just can't believe her sometimes. Um, oh, and my Black Friday. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but uh, these are my Diamond Art Club diamond paintings. This is, uh, what is the name of it? Wonderland. It's kind of 
Oops, what's it doing? It's kind of like based on Alice in Wonderland. These are all Mandy Manzano artwork. And then, just because I am crazy, Elizabeth. What am I gonna do these? I, I don't know. I'm working on a big one now, Snow White. This one is 55 by 94 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches. This is 42 by 59 centimeters. I showed Danny when I when I came and he goes, You're you got a problem. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? I said it was buy one, get one free. How can I give that up? You know, if you know the price of those things, you're just like anyhow. Oh. And I got some new new material. Came in today. If you're like me, you like material. Um, I on a sewing thing, very much a sewing thing. This is kind of cute. Uh, vintage or is it vintage or vint retro? I don't know. And coordinating um, rickrack. Wouldn't that be cute? Uh, this one I thought was really cute. I don't know. Cows. Look how colorful that is. And coordinating. Windmills, cows and windmills. That'll be cute. And this one I did not have a coordinating for, but I just loved it. So, I don't know. I'm thinking blue coordinating for that. Just like a plain blue, because it's just so much with the, with the peacocks, it's peacock feathers. And then no more sewing. This one I had thought would go with the other one, but it won't. Um, but this reminds me a lot of, um, my Ghastly Notions bag. This is the Alexander Henry print. Um, but this is just a little sewing stuff. So cute. And then I got, um, this one that I thought would, would work with that, the pink but it's not going to. So I'll have to find something else for this. I had, um, I was just talking to somebody and I'd forgotten I bought this, but I had talked, um, she had bought, it's a one from Joann's and it's a bit bigger, um, scissors. And I'd used that for a bag, um, last summer and she had just bought it. And I said, I'd use that. And she goes, I was thinking about you because I do custom bags. And so, um, I was supposed to look for some other material and I haven't done it. So anyway, that's all the new stuff. Um, okay. I guess I'll uh, show what we're going to give away. Where are we at? Oh, yeah. These just keep getting longer and longer. Um, so because I uh, reached over 100 subscribers, how'd that happen? I I guess there's 130-something of you that enjoy watching me. I don't know. But thank you. Thank you a lot. It's fun. Um, it's a lot of fun. I just... I love getting all the stuff together. I love showing my projects and, um, I don't know. So anyway, uh, what I will be giving away for the 100 subscribers is the blue flower, Sleeping Bee. This is just released. Um, so if you would like to win or win the blue flower, uh, I would hope you would like and subscribe, but you don't have to. But anyway, um, like and subscribe and say, um, what am I going to say? You know, tell me what you're going to have for Christmas dinner. And that you'd like to stitch the sleeping bee. Okay. So what you would, what you, what you're going to do, what you're going to have for Christmas dinner. And, um, you don't have to give me the whole menu, but you know, the main thing like prime rib or turkey or that kind of stuff. And, um, and that you'd like to stitch the sleeping bee. Yeah, sleeping bee. Um, I guess there's rules. Uh, you have to be 18 so I can get your address. Don't say giveaway. Uh, what else is there? I don't know if I missed one. We all know the rules. Don't, 
just follow the rules as that everybody else does. Okay. I will announce a winner of this uh, on my video next week. Next weekend. Okay. Um, plans. Plans, plans. I still are I'm looking at things I'm going to do um, with the semi stained stitchers. They approved my Once Upon a Fairy Tale plan, so that was good. Um, I also have joined their, um, oh, what is it? The literature, literary one where you um, stitch 25, 25 stitches for every page of the chapter, of the chapter. So if you have chapter one is 25 and then 25, or let's do 10, 10 pages in the chapter, it'd be 250 stitches for that chapter. And you have to uh, post your pictures. It was every chapter, but I think it's, they let you go up to three chapters. So that'd be good. I'm a reader. So I don't know if I can stitch that much though. So anywho, that's it on the stitchy stuff. Um, thanks for sticking with me and joining me. And um, like I said, if you want to win that sleeping bee, tell me what you're gonna eat on Christmas. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my Etsy shop. So if you don't wanna listen to that mumbo jumbo, then bye. And I'll see you next time. Uh, but if you're still with me, uh, there's nothing really new going on in my Etsy shop. I am very busy. Um, the cyber sale, uh, was crazy and I think I, I got a lot of orders. Um, I, you know, I'm right now I'm a day behind. I try to get things out within a week or seven days and I'm on, I'm a day behind right now. So, you know, I'm a one woman show. I work and, um, full time. So, um, I'm doing as, doing as fast as I can. Okay. Patience, please. Um, like I said, if you want something for Christmas, I think Tuesday would be the last day to get it there without having to do priority mail or something. Because, you know, if you give me the week, I mean, I don't know. I just think I'm going to be running a little bit late with all the cyber sale stuff. So, the 10th is, is really good. Um, after Christmas, um, there's going to be a lots of new releases. So keep your eye on that. We're up to the first of the year. I'll put them up while I'm, I'll be working on them while I'm on vacation. So those new uh, designs. So there won't be any Christmas, no Halloween. So anyway, um, that's about it. Uh, all right. Nothing new to show. So thanks for hanging out with me and uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.